<laughs> Being married to a pastor, we moved a lot, but uh, he was a pastor of churches only five years of his ministry. And then they asked him to uh, uh, take charge of the Sabbath school department, lay activities department, and temperance. And that involved the whole conference. So um, it meant more travel. He was gone more. And uh, he was always a guest speaker on Sabbaths. And you know, because the, the pastors all had country churches with more than one church, so they always welcomed a guest speaker. Any any time you you can come, we we have we'd love to have you. So, <laughs> but um, he enjoyed do, doing that work, and and um, after we'd been in North Dakota nine years, he got a call to British Columbia, and that was. A lovely experience because uh, British Columbia was a beautiful, beautiful state. You have the ocean, you have the mountains, you have the trees, you have the beauty, and leaving. Uh, now, mind you, North Dakota has its own beauty. When they plant acres and acres and acres of wheat, and the wind blows, and the uh, if the wheat is about this tall, you know, 10, 12 inches tall, almost ready to harvest, it's like waves on a lake, you know, when the wind blows. It's, it has its own beauty. But to not ever see a mountain or the ocean, <laughs> not too many lakes, and then move to British Columbia. We lived in Vancouver for a couple of years, and then they moved the conference office to Mission City, which was inland about 50 miles. It, um, it was just nice for a change. But then came up, see, our, our children were little, and there were church schools. But our oldest daughter was getting, was in the seventh grade, and we were still in British Columbia, and they did not have an academy. So that was a concern for us, because we had made the decision before we had children that all of our children were going to have a Christian education. And uh, there was, uh, living in Mission City, we were not far from the academy in Washington State. But we had heard from the Canadian people that they wished when American workers were working in their conference that they would send their children to their Canadian schools instead of sending them across the border. And so we knew that there was uh, a little conflict there and we didn't want to start one <laughs> with the Bowers. <laughs> so we started praying Uh, that either we would have a call or whatever God had in store for us, you know, but uh, he knew that we, were, we wanted our daughter to be in a Christian school. Two years before this came up, my husband was, delegate, was a delegate to the General Conference, and the General Conference was held on the East Coast, I think it was in Washington, D.C. that year. His roommate from college at that time was principal, no, 
He was the young people's man in the Wisconsin conference. And both my husband and, and Bill Bieber were roommates. They started in the academy because they came from South Dakota and they, they were together all through college. And Bill was a MV man for Wisconsin and we stopped for a weekend to visit with them because we'd always been good friends with them. And on that trip to General Conference, they took us out to the academy, a nice boarding school, and um, showed us, you know, what all was going on in the conference. And I think God was preparing us two years in advance for this because when uh, it was time to start planning where we were going to send our daughter, uh, we started praying that we would, uh, that God would take care of that, either give us a call or, or whatever he had in mind for us. One day, I get a telephone call from my husband from the office. They had just been meeting uh, the board had been meeting, and he says to me, you are now speaking to the Sabbath school man and the lay activities man from the Wisconsin conference. And I couldn't say anything for us. I said, what are you talking about? Well, he said the board was just meeting and a call came through and they came out and they asked me, uh, they told me that they had voted for me to come to the Wisconsin conference and I told them I'd take it. And the president says, don't you want to pray about it? And don't you want to tell your wife about it? He said, we have been praying about it. And he says, I know my wife is, is going to say yes, it's okay, so we don't have to wait. <laughs> they had never had an answer <laughs> like that from anybody because we had been praying and we knew exactly what the school was like because that was our big thing. You know, with, with four children, we knew we had to be someplace where, where there was... Um, uh, a good school and, and that we could depend on it. So, <laughs> but that was how God took care of that one.